Good evening and I'm happy to see you again once again. And once again the same question, what should I do to be happy? What should I do, Master, to have eternal life? The question asked to Jesus and that we all ask, how can I be successful in life? Can I be happy? And most of us, when we ask this question, we always look at people and compare ourselves. Is he happier than me? Or how did he make it? Can I also make it? Can I also have it? That is one of the sicknesses, I would say, or one of the plagues of human nature, always comparing. And uh, René Gera, a French literary critic, who through his research landed up in the religious studies, would say the basic instinct or drive in human life is mimesis or desire, not just simple desire, desiring the desire of the other, mimetic desire. We imitate somebody always. We don't live our life as we are supposed to be. We always compare and imitate and that lands us in a wrong place. What we want to arrive at or what we want to achieve, we don't do, we don't achieve. Rather, happiness eludes through our fingers. It slips through our fingers. Why? Because we always try to imitate people. I'm just reminded of the small anecdote in the life of a rabbi. When a rabbi was speaking about eternal life or about heaven, there was a young man who asked the question, asked the rabbi, what should I do to be happy to have eternal life? The same perennial question. And before the rabbi could answer, the young man gave the clue to the answer. He continued with the question, shall I be like Moses leading the people from slavery to liberation? Or shall I be like David, a mighty king who established the kingdom of Israel? Or shall I be like Solomon, a man of wisdom, giving people the knowledge of wisdom for a happy life? The rabbi asked the dang man, what is your name? Tell me what is your name? The young man replied, I am Ismail Ben Karim. No Jewish tradition, when they say a name of a person, they always say the name of the father. Ismail is name, personal name. And Ben Karim, son of Gari. Rabbi answered him back, saying, You be Ismail Ben Karim. If God wanted you to be Moses, he would have named you Moses. If he wanted a David from you, he would have named you David. If God wanted wisdom to be dispersed to you, he would have called you Solomon. But you are created as Ismail, son of Ben Garin. Son of Garin, that means you are supposed to do the work of Ismail. You are sent into this world with a plan, with a purpose, and you are supposed to find that one, discern that one, and discover that one, or get it inspired from above and follow it up. That is the secret of happiness. Be what you are supposed to be, not always imitating and comparing with others and losing your happiness. God has not created duplicate this world or it's not impression or images of the other. We are not an image of the other person, no. Though scientifically they say there are seven persons of similar qualities and similar appearance, but each one is unique. Every human person is unique and each one is sent to this world with a unique mission. That's why I'm always reminded of the beautiful words of Galil Gibran in his famous book, The Prophet. Speaking about the children, he would say, to the parents, advising to the parents would say, these children are not your children. They may be through you, but not from you. They are from God. So give them your love, but not your thoughts, not your plans. Why? Because God has a plan for them. So your love should help them to discover their plan, the plan that God has given to them. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, 
God has sent us into this world with a plan, with a master plan of his own design. So our purpose, our effort should be to discover that plan, that in other words, the will of God for you and to follow it up. And that is the purpose of life. That is the destiny of our life. Otherwise, if you are going to imitate somebody else, if you are going to decide the desire of somebody else, you are not going to achieve what you are supposed to be. You are just going to be dissipated. You are just going to be without any orientation, without real fulfillment. So, ask God every day, what is the purpose of mine? What am I supposed to do today? What is the will for me? What do you want me to do? Help me to find your will and to say yes to that. And that is how we find happiness, find meaning, fulfillment, and bring forth hundredfold fruits. May you have a life of fulfillment and happiness through God's grace. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.